Coach, can you share with us your initial reactions after the 1 1 draw here at Eastern Stadium? Uh, disappointed. Very, very disappointed with the final results. Uh, but you always have to look back at games and, and judge it as the one big picture. We saw some other things from some other players today and basically our final friendly. I know we have one coming up in July, but this is it now and it's 12 straight league games or, or, or close to. So we, we have to take some positive things out of it. Another good start. Um, one nil up is always good. Great goal. Um, I thought we had a couple moments in transition first half that we looked pretty good, created chances. Our defending shape was a little bit better today, but we're still getting penetrated far too easily. Um, and it was, I don't know if you guys noticed, but it was a team that played us almost identical to West Michigan. Yeah. 4 1 4 1, kind of that block of four there and waiting for passes to come into the midfield. And we're just not quite clean enough in that phase yet. But no, to, to answer the first question, disappointing and our team is disappointing. I think I, I'm disappointed. I think we all feel that disappointment to not. Close out okay. That's it. I think one spark in your team was the emergence of Josh Adam in your team. What are your thoughts on him and how he played in about like an hour played? Yeah, Josh Adam, we didn't want to push him. He's just coming off a state championship yesterday. He, the, the, the young man was at St. Louis, the All-American game last weekend. He hasn't played a minute for the club. Um, we know his he has many, many commitments, not just those, not just the commitments to the club of Lansing County. He's a Michigan State uh, signee, so we, we want to make sure we're – we're doing right by Josh, but getting him into some minutes today because he is a quality, quality player. And you can obviously see that. Uh, the right decisions, good communicator. I just can't wait to, to kind of get those two together, Aiden O'Connor uh, and, and Josh Adam together. And, and we just haven't had a chance to even train that. So today we kind of had some training by game, training by fire, I guess. But uh, it was good. It was good to see them both play a little bit today together. And then past couple of weeks, it's three straight games. You guys have scored the first goal after conceding the first two in the previous two to start the season. But today seemed like a game of four quarters instead of two halves, especially after the hydration breaks. What kind of went into the, you know, especially that halftime locker room talk, especially after the final 20 minutes of the first half, being as they were kind of getting back defensively and being more on your heels than you were in the previous 25 and having that happen again in the yeah, second. Yeah, that's great. I think Patrick Reston played very well in goal today, made a couple key saves, one late on and then one big save uh, later in the first half, which I think is what you're making note of, Cam. And then you got to have a good goalkeeper, and we have three. We have three very good goalkeepers who are capable of stopping shots on any, any single day. So he kind of kept us into the game. The, the talk at halftime was, yeah, you know, great goal. Had some good moments early on, and then we could have we could have cost ourselves. So, really, the talk was to be smart, play on angles. Obviously, we want to have the ball because they have to step to us because we're winning the game. You should be um, even the better team times two when you're in a position like that. And you're not having to chase the game and you're not having to deal with things. We just had some tense moments, and you could argue that okay, you know, shaking up things in the lineup and bringing on new players that obviously may have something to do with it. But this is, you know, it's a friendly game; it's a chance to see everybody, and I want to see if players are up to uh, up to task. One player that I thought was phenomenal was Trevor Togi, uh, who's playing a little out of position. He's more of an attacking player. He played kind of holding in mid for us and did everything right, created great scoring chances yeah. for us, cut holes out. So there's some positives, um, but I do agree with you. I think. I think there were moments when we were in complete control of the game, and then there were other moments where, you, where if you walked up for the last 10 minutes of the game, you would think, wow, uh, Lansing, lucky to be 1-1, because we had some some nervous moments. Just got to put it all together. We have far from that, but we've got 13 games left. So. All right. And, Coach, going into training this week, will be some focuses? First of all, we're training every day this week. So it's really hard when a, when a team, and, and, you know, like I told you guys before, no excuses, yeah. no explanations. We, are, we were a bit late this year coming to season. Uh, we have still yet to get everybody together because of prior commitments. And, we, you know, again, we started late. So training a couple times a week lately because we had a two-game week last, last week, making sure we try to keep everybody healthy is good. But we've got stuff to work on. And the guys, when I said, you know, training every day this week, they, they kind of lit up. So we know that we got work to do and, and – uh, Training this week is going to be fully dialed in on Inner Detroit and just improving parts of our game, um, and we're going to do that on a daily basis this week. So it'll be a it'll be a busy week for our guys. Ty, talk to us today a little bit about how that first goal went. Oh, uh, you know it was a it was a good play by our midfielders. We won the ball, and I saw a gap in the defender, so I ran into it and it was a little in front of me, but I got there and I just tried to toe poke it past the goalie, but it ended up running into the goalie. 
bounced out to Stabby, and Stabby had a nice finish far corner. It was nice. And going into the halftime break, what were your thoughts on going in? With well, I just, go up? Uh, just knew we had to not sit back, but we couldn't use all of our energy on this hot day at the beginning. You know, we had to just play to our strengths, not waste too much energy right off the bat, but we still wanted to keep the lead and keep the pressure on them. And then kind of going in both halves, the, the hydration breaks, you guys seemingly the better of the first of the two sides in the first 25 minutes, final 20 kind of tailing off. Have anything to say about kind of that, especially going into that second half, the final 20 minutes, trying to keep your foot on the pedal, but ultimately having to go to three strikers up front in the final 10. Yeah, I think definitely give Grand Haven some credit. I think they made some changes to their tactics and they, they, they had us struggling a little bit. I know we kind of couldn't find our footing right there at the end. We made a we went a little more attacking minded once we tied once the game went tied and so we tried to get the goal to win but it just didn't happen All and right. then going into next week you guys now three 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 games in a row you guys have started off scoring first it's been a different kind of energy it seems going off to start the first 15 minutes of the game what do you feel like's been the main motivating factor for your guys' you know great starts as of, I re- think as of late beginning of the season we were starting off slow and oaks was pushing First 15, first 15, get out there and get, get get one up on them, get two up on them. So I think I think that was really one of the biggest things for us is we always, every game since we started off slow, we really just want to get after it right from the start and put a couple by them. All right. Thank you, Ty, for your time. Yeah, no problem.